from the studio that brought you Japanese Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And the franchise that launched a billion weebs comes a film with as many plot holes, pacing issues, and predictable fights as the anime. But you'll forgive it all because these characters raised you more than your parents. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Strap in for a new kind of Dragon Ball movie that takes inspiration from Toriyama's colorful originals, Shintani's excellent work on the previous film, and some of the worst looking games on PlayStation 2. To update the visuals for a new generation, because the only thing millennials actually killed is 2D animation. <laughs> Last time on Dragon Ball, the Red Ribbon Army sought the wish-granting Dragon Balls to rule the world. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, the Z Fighters assembled to save Earth by squeezing their butt cheeks so hard their hair changed color. Yeah! Last time on Dragon Ball GT, we don't talk about that one, but last time on Dragon Ball Super, a new group of heroes got added to the mix to the point where you can barely keep track of who's who. Wait a second. Huge main cast of extended family. Old villains keep joining the crew. None of the physics makes sense. Dragon Ball is Japanese fast and furious. They're even obsessed with butts. Next time on Dragon BBLZ, that ass. Meet Magenta. He runs Red Ribbon Pharmaceuticals, but it's a front for a world-conquering army. Like if the Sackler family were less evil, he'll recruit Dr. Hito, a child scientist, and the exact midpoint between Gru and Syndrome, with the universe's mightiest heroes, Goku and Vegeta, sidelined by a missed phone call. It's up to Piccolo to save Earth from Hito's creations with his ultimate technique, hyper child abuse. As he trains a freaking three-year-old in deadly combat and once again derails Gohan's normal life to go get beat down by androids. But hey, when the only competition for best dad is these two, sometimes showing up is all it takes. Piccolo's not the stepfather, he's the father who stepped up. After some entertaining warm-ups against Tweedledum and Tweedledorg, get ready for the main event against Cell Max. A kaiju who looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon ate the creatine from the Gold's Gym. He has only one weakness, getting hit on the top of the head really hard. Isn't that everyone's weakness? To stop him, Piccolo will have to raise the Dragon Ball's power level in order to raise his power level and provoke Gohan into raising his power level before provoking Gohan into raising his power level again and raising his power level again. But when Dr. Hito raises his power level and Magenta raises his power level and Cell Max raises his power level, their new ally must raise his power level and Piccolo must once again raise his power level so that Gohan can raise his power level so hard, you guys, until everyone changes color and gets new hair and explodes in a white-hot ball of pent-up testosterone. This whole franchise is a metaphor for puberty. That's why the theater I saw it in smelled crazy, huh? So push up your glasses with your middle finger like all the very serious anime guys do. and just make up all the rules as you go along. <laughs> because Dragon Ball Super Superhero isn't here to make new friends. It's just a love letter to the fans who stuck with it since the Toonami days. And an epic scale animated cosmic beatdown never goes out of style. Fight, 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 man, I should get up and go to the gym, huh? Goku's got it. Starring My Hero Academia, finally relevant. Musa Weenie, Hugsley Son, Android Twins. One of us, one of us. Sell out. Beater Pan. You see this bad boy in a silk shirt? You know they mean business. 
That's my Superman. Dr. Robot Lift. <laughs> Did I just watch a cat god get an erection? Whisk the juice. The leftovers. Krillin me softly. Do you even lift brawl? And new balls drag race. The fast and the burliest. <laughs> yes, because it literally happens once a year for the past 30 years. You know who didn't get enough screen time in this one? Vegeta. We tracked every scene he's in in the anime to find out all of his battle stats, and most importantly, how many times he stands really high up looking down on people with his arms crossed. It's a lot. Click the thumbnail on the right to find out in the latest episode of By the Numbers. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. The ocean is so salty because everyone pees in it. I've been subscribed and posting for years, but Epic Voice Guy never reads my comment. And he never will. <laughs>